guys savvy here i'm stepping out to share my experience this past week trading with leo in 13 market moves i know he helped many guys to a million million plus but i never really believed it nor was i even looking for that i'm coming from humble beginnings all I was expecting was maybe 100K, 200. But boy, did we go past my wildest expectations. In the last two weeks, I think I started with 15K. And so far, my account has reached $1,086,000. But it did balloon to 1.2 million at one point. It has since settled. I withdrew some funds for myself. You should always do that. But let me summarize the trades we took over the past weeks. Week one, I started with 15K and we took it to 50. My account went down at some point, several, several times, to 5K from 15K. That takes some getting used to. So, at any given point, I think my P&L was swinging 10K. It's not easy. It's not easy watching that. But you got to stay disciplined. But before I finish the week... It has swung the other way in my favor, ending the week at 50K. I, 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 was, I was ecstatic. I recorded a video that week separately. Um, if you want to watch it, you can go to 13 Market Moves YouTube channel. But basically, the top trades that helped me make that money that week was pretty much Coin and MSTR. MSTR was a big hitter. It started out slow, but then it finished strong. Moving the account in a direction that we thought the market was going. Coin was a little slow, but also came along. As you can see, Big fluctuations in the account at any given time. You have to get used to it. It's part of the game. After I took some funds out, we started the next week with 30K, which ultimately ended the account at $1,086,000. And I still have some open positive positions at this time going into next week. So I'm going to be strapped in again to uh, ride that roller coaster. It's impossible to describe every trade we took. There were multiple entries and exits. Exits. Bounces on similar trades, multiple mm -hmm. trades, but let's 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 try to keep it in perspective because it is hard. The top three trades in the following week or the next week that took me to a million. Many bounces, big bounces. Also. Before I forget, the account probably would be a lot bigger, but I missed the entry on the DPZ trade. I was a little slow, and, and that's another thing. Work on your hand-eye coordination because it, when, he, when they call him out, you got you to gotta move. You got to move. If I was a few, second, few seconds faster, 
I probably would have had, whew, I probably would have been up maybe 1.3, 1.4. But that's the game. That is the game. You know what I mean? Leo gave me the DPZ trade at 3.57 p.m. The day before DPZ dropped 70 points. And uh, I'm pretty sure I missed about 140K easy on that trade. Because it's, you got to be fast. I think that's also part of Leo's technique. Not not just reading charts and recognizing bad divergences. You got to be able to execute, execute, execute. And, and that was fast. That was a little too fast for me and I, I missed it. I, did, I just didn't get in on time. So that is something I need to work on and improve going forward. Execution, getting in faster. That's just part of it. But the three trades, I would say it was four that made the big difference in my account. Gold futures, oil futures, ES futures, and the Russell futures. All puts. All puts. The gold futures alone position was about 500K at the end of the, end of the week in gold futures. So definitely get your futures account up to speed. Don't, don't, waste, don't waste your time not having it, you know, trying to go around it. Go ahead and get it. Get your oil, get your gold. Make sure you're set up for futures trading. The oil futures trade brought in 100K, easy. The Russell futures, another 100K. I mean, it was so many trades, hard to keep up with all of them. But we shorted gold at 2480, 2460. At those levels, we also bought the 2455 puts 2440 puts, 2400 puts. Some of these strikes produced over 16x. We shorted oil at 83, $81.70. We bought the 79.75 puts, 79.50 puts, 79.25 strikes for the next week, going into this upcoming week. We shorted the Russell futures at 2250, 2290, 2280, and 2270. These levels, you can see the trade was going in the opposite direction for a little bit, but we held on and nailed the top. Added more at the top on top of it. I I just, you know, this is this is on a level that I'm unfamiliar with. I'll be honest with you. You you'd have to you have to you grow to this level cuz I'm this is new. This is new to me. And it still hasn't set in. What what I what we accomplished this past week. And maybe that's a good thing. We'll see. You know what I mean? We we will see. You can review the charts on these trades and you will find out that we were very consistent. With, with a simple strategy of shorting the bounces. Short the bounce. Not buying the dips. Short the bounce. Oh yeah, and, and uh, we also made over 240K on ES Futures using the same strategy. Short the bounces, short the bounces. We had some good trades on, on SMCI, ASML, Netflix, Spy using the same strategy, but they were not producing the returns that we made in the futures. That's why the futures make the difference. Don't go forward without it. It can make or break the the success of your of your trading. I'm glad I listened to Leo. 
and set up my account, had everything ready for trading options futures. I truly believe if I had not done that, I would have probably ended up only with about 200K, which I would have been happy with. But, you know, Leo strives for top-notch success, which is okay. But instead, I did end up with a million, unexpectedly. I was not expecting that. I still can't believe it. By the way, there were some trades that totally didn't work, such as DHI. But it fit the criteria for the trade. We took it and we lost it. But the, but the wins were so much bigger than the losses. It's like you didn't even feel it. You didn't even feel it. But moving forward, let me, let me, let me give you three takeaways of the things I've learned from trading with Leo this past two weeks. Stay with the same strategy every time. Don't change anything and don't overreact if the trade goes against you. Sometimes it do. Take all emotions out. Forget everything you know about trading and just focus on following the 13 market move strategy, which revolves around focusing on the next big move instead of what happens in the next five minutes. I, I didn't sleep for, th for the last three days. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I'm in uncharted territory. Uncharted territory. So for those of you who think you can show up whenever you feel like feel like it and make big money trading one hour or something like that, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You might get lucky once, but in this strategy, it's not going to happen. I would say it's totally the wrong mentality to think like that. If you're going to commit, you're going to be there for a while. So clear your schedule, clear your calendar, and just strap in. In conclusion, I want to say that I am glad I faced my fears. Wow. I mean, I'm glad. I still don't believe it, but I'm, I'm glad. So I'm, I'm sure sooner or later it's going to set in. I'm, but I'm glad I faced my fears and followed the 13 Market Moves coaching 100% each day, each hour. I had some challenges watching my account swing hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, it's wow. Unbelievable. But the, 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 magnet, the magnitude of some of the swings, were I think the biggest one was like 250. That one, that one hit me hard. It hit me hard. Plus or minus uh, uh, 250 is, is, is something else. It's unbelievable. Um, so I will say that if you let your emotions get in the way, you will probably lose. You got to control those emotions. I decided to record my experience because I want more people out there that are pursuing trading and 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 they need to believe in themselves and their dreams but most people underestimate the amount of hard work that that it's going to take and that goes in to generating that first million leo does make it easier but he will scream and yell at your ass so don't don't take offense but he cares. He cares about your success and you making it and making your dreams a reality. If you are looking to sign up, I would say do it only if you are willing to be coachable 100%. 100%. Follow the program. 100%. 100%. One wrong move such as getting the wrong strike or wrong expiration or hesitating, hesitating in your entry. That could cost you $100,000 easy in profits and losses. Easy. Easy. So I understand 
13 market moves is not for everyone. Because it's not. I'm going to tell you right now. It's not. It's not for everybody. Most of the people won't do what is required. It's hard. They can't do it. That's the truth. They won't hold on and stay with the trades. They, they, will, they won't be emotionally tough enough. And 13 market moves will not work for them. That's just the truth. But I guess that's why only a few people follow the program 100%. And they deserve the outcome of reaching 1 million plus. The program has worked for me and I am grateful. I am truly grateful. I'm just an average Joe. However, I understand I still need to improve in many areas. And, and that that's what I will work on continuously. I want to thank y'all for listening to my story and I hope I was